This is the software that I use to scale to over a million dollars in sales drop shipping on Amazon. I'm gonna show you how I use this software from listing products, tracking inventory from suppliers, and just overall how to automate your business. The software that I use is called OA Genius. And with this software, I can create systems that are automated in my business. With drop shipping, it's really important that you're freeing up your time from doing the tasks that you don't need to do so that you can work on your business and not in it. This will be a complete tutorial on how to use the software. I'm gonna be showing you everything step-by-step. Step. So sit back, relax, and let's begin. The first step is to create an account and OA Genius does offer a free trial. If you've done drop shipping in the past, then OA Genius might sound familiar. They used to do retail drop shipping, but about a year ago, they added the ability to connect to wholesale suppliers. The great thing about the software is that it's built for drop shipping. You can connect to your suppliers with multiple different ways, and you can also sell on multiple different marketplaces, which was a huge thing that I was looking for when I was looking for a new software. After you create your account, the next step is you're going to go ahead and connect your sales channels. So wherever you're selling, it could be Amazon, it could be Walmart. You're just going to click add a channel and then you're going to follow the instructions. After you connect your sales channels, the next step is you're not going to follow right here where it says add your first product. Instead, you're going to add your wholesale suppliers as a source configuration. So the way that you do that is in the bottom left, you're going to click settings. And then right here, it's going to put you on sources and you're just going to scroll down all the way to where it says custom sources. So at the bottom of the page, you can click add a new CSV integration. And right here, I'm going to show you how I connect to my different wholesale suppliers. When working with wholesale suppliers, you want to make sure that you're getting a product file. A product file is just going to be an Excel file or a CSV, and it's going to have all the information for the products. This is going to be the UPC code. It's going to be their SKU or item code, and it's just going to have all the details for the items that they carry. The most important thing that we are looking for as drop shippers is we want to make sure that the supplier has a file that has the active inventory amount. So this means that we're going to be asking our suppliers for an inventory file or if they have a file where we can go ahead and download to get active reflections of the inventory that they carry. Once you ask your supplier that, they're then going to tell you what type of file they have. Some suppliers are going to say that they have an FTP. So if they do, then I'm going to show you how to connect with that. Other suppliers are just going to give you a file. So this can be an Excel file that they email you. It could be a file that they download from their website. Whatever it is, there is a way to connect with. If your supplier gives you an Excel file, what you want to do is you want to host it in Google Sheets. This is going to allow OA Genius to go and pick that file up. From there, you're just going to press file and then you're going to press import. Then you select upload and you're going to upload the file that the supplier gave you. So here's my test sheet from a supplier. It has the name, it has the SKU, and it has all the information from the products, but more importantly, it has the inventory levels. So you'll see that some items are two, we have zero, five, but it's showing items as in stock and it's also showing items that are out of stock. So now what I need to do is I need to make the file public so OA Genius can pick it up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to file, then we're gonna go to share. And from there, we're going to click publish on web. After you click publish on web, you're gonna get all this information. So what you wanna do is you wanna stay on link, then you're going to select entire document and you can have it select a different page if you wanna just host the page that you're gonna be sharing. So for here, I'll just select product listing three. And then instead of a web page, I wanna host a CSV. After you select that, you're just going to get your link and then you're gonna hit publish. Once your page is live, you're just going to select it and then you're gonna to go to OA Genius and you're going to add a new CSV integration. So I'm gonna click this, then I'm gonna add a name. So for this, I'll just put test supplier five, and then I'm gonna put here. And then I'm going to press load file and it's gonna pull the information from the Google doc. So it successfully pulled the information. And this is a great way that you can connect to any type of file from any type of supplier. So in the past, I had suppliers that had a lot of different ways of connecting, but this really seamlines it and it gives me one way to connect to all of those different types of files. The next thing is actual inventory versus override inventory. And this just means, do you wanna show the actual inventory from the supplier or do you wanna override it and show a lesser amount? Next, you have to configure the file. So this means you just have to align the columns that you have with OA Genius and just let them know where the information is. So the item ID is going to be the SKU. Then the cost for me is going to be right here in price. So these are gonna be different names on your supplier sheet, depending on how they name it. Then we have availability. So this is inventory and the rest are optional. But if your supplier does give you the UPC or the image URL, you can go ahead and connect them here. After I pull that, you also have a display of the sheet right here. And then I can go ahead and press save. So now that supplier is live within OA Genius and I can go ahead and start listing those items on Amazon or Walmart. And whenever I update the Google sheet with the inventory, it's then going to update on the sales channels. So for example, if I have an item right here that has five in stock, 
let's say it goes out of stock and I change it to zero, that's now gonna be pulled by OA Genius and it's gonna update on all of my marketplaces. The other way that you can connect to a supplier is if they have the file hosted and they have a link, you can also just put that right here and OA Genius will be able to pull in that link if it's an FTP or if it's a CSV or if it's just a hosted file. The other way is if the supplier has a credentials that you need in order to log into the file, you can just paste that here. So right here, you'll see the username and the password. And if you have any trouble, you can always contact OA Genius's support. Once you have your suppliers connected, you then wanna go ahead and you wanna start listing your products. So there are two ways to list your products. You can either do it manually or you can go ahead and you can do it in bulk. In order to do it manually, you would get to this page. So you would just pick the supplier that you wanna go ahead and connect to. So for this example, we were using test supplier five and then we would need the SKU that we're gonna be pulling from the sheet. So I'm just gonna use this one and then I'm gonna put it in here and it's gonna go ahead and fetch inventory. So from there, it's gonna pull in the price and it's gonna pull in all the information. So it pulled in the cost for the item and then I can also add the shipping. So let's say the shipping for the supplier is $8. Now it has all of my cost associated and now I just need to go ahead and connect that listing to an item on Amazon. So in order to find the item on Amazon, you can just take the UPC code or you can search for the item by its name, but just make sure that it is the correct item. After that, you're gonna to go to Amazon and in the URL, you're just going to copy the Amazon part and you're gonna paste it inside of OA Genius. And the other portion that you wanna copy is right here where it says DP and then it has the ASIN, which is this string of numbers and letters that start with B. After you copy that, you're gonna go back to OA Genius and you're gonna paste it after the link and then it's gonna pull in the information to connect them on OA Genius. So you'll see that it found the correct listing. Here we have our cost and we have the information from our source sheet. And then we also have the information for the listing on Amazon. So here you have your offer. The next thing is you just wanna adjust your offer. So you're just gonna enter the SKU. I use the SKU for my supplier. Then you have the price to list and then you have the handling time. After you adjust everything, you're then going to press create listing and it's going to push it to Amazon. The other way that you can download in bulk is you can download the template. So the template that you would download if you're using wholesale suppliers is create listing template with a custom integration. And then you're just going to use the template. You're gonna fill in all the information once you have it all filled out, and then you're gonna upload it into the bulk uploads. And then all the listings are gonna be uploaded in bulk to your marketplace. Finally, let's talk about orders and returns. With orders, you have information right here, and it's gonna show you all the information like the buyer's address, the quantity, and the item that was ordered. You can change the status of the order, like from when it's pending to when it's shipped. And then if it is returned, you can also mark that. And this way, OE Genius can keep track of all of your profit. What is your net margin? What is your return percentage? So it's also a great way to just do some numbers for your business. The way that I automate my orders is I have a virtual assistant go ahead and I have them email all the orders to the supplier. The way that you do that is you would just go ahead and you would drop down sources. So every time you get an order from a different supplier, it would show that from this different source and you can sort them. So this way, let's say I was getting it from this supplier, from test supplier, I would just select it and then I'd put the date range and it would be for that day. And all the orders I got from that supplier, I can go ahead and I can download a spreadsheet and then send that to the supplier. Once I get the tracking number, I can then upload it either in Amazon or I can upload it in OA Genius. And I normally have my virtual assistant do that. So this is just a way that I can streamline everything into one place and have my virtual assistants do everything for me in terms of listing and ordering so I can focus on contacting more suppliers and growing the business. And the coolest feature with this software is of course that you can actually change the theme from light to dark and I think it looks a thousand times better. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. If you want to see more of my face, then go ahead and you can click this video right here.